Every Minute Matters is anything to speed up the things that we have to do in order to save that time for our learning. Anything from assigning students to take care of something the second they walk into the classroom, to folder math, to math bags. In Beth Crossan's fourth grade classroom, in Cleveland's public charter school, Citizens Academy, the goal is to have everything run like clockwork. Let me see your clocks. Clock, 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 clock. Beth's excellent at Every Minute Matters especially when it comes to meeting with individual students or techniques such as the, the folder math and the math bags that she has. There's been a dramatic change with my daughter attending Ms. Grossman's class. Her technique helps her understand math more. The intent for this 10-year teaching veteran is clear. And where am I missing opportunities for saving more time so that they're always actively learning in the classroom. And we've actually problem solved in class. If it takes us this many minutes to pass out materials every day, figure out how much time we lose in a month. Sorry, and they were surprised at how much time it actually was, as was I. It was, it was atrocious. <laughs> when we done doing our work, instead of just, like Ms. Cross said, just sitting there looking at the ceiling and daydreaming, we just pull out our math orders and get back to work. Each student's math folder contains work appropriate for his or her level. Math bags are everything that they're going to need that day in one place. I like that because they keep me more organized. Yeah, setting one or one in the classroom. Disrupting at the classroom when you got to get your own stuff. Just grab it and go. Each minute saved helps ensure students understand okay. tricky math concepts. If we wouldn't understand it, the normal way that she teaches, she would just try to find another way. I teach multiple ways of getting a certain concept. Fractions are Not so that they have to learn three or four different ways, but so that they have a choice. Skip counting. Put these aside. Take out your marker boards. Let's try something different. I saw that they were getting frustrated and I was losing their attention. Sometimes we just lose what we know. And so she try to find a way to get us back. One way also quickly checks for understanding. What is the name of that shape? Beth asks questions and students pop up if they know the answer. Another rapidly re-engages when a lesson on calculating elapsed time baffled students. All right, give me some geometry cheers to wake up your brains. Give me a cute angle. I'm gonna leave you that way for a while. Teach you a lesson about not participating. I think the kids really enjoy her sense of humor. She's funny. Don't tell her, but I do not think she's funny. <laughs> Differences of opinion are as welcome as different approaches to a problem. Use your clock, use your board, use whatever makes you happy. We talk about whether you're an auditory learner or a visual learner or a kinesthetic learner, and I teach them to pay attention to the cues of what works best for them so that they can start taking more responsibility for their own education. Thanks to Every Minute Matters, Beth can take the time to get to understanding. It was a rough one today. <laughs> so today I went to what's working for you individually and then grouped them and let them talk. They can understand from each other with a little intervention here and there from me. That's when it seemed to get back on track. Ms. Grossman's patient teacher. She shows someone the technique and shows them how to process it. You started out counting backwards and then counted forward and just lumped them all together. Okay. Well, it's a good thing for them to see Mrs. Crossan is struggling to get this point across to us. Sometimes we struggle to learn. Thank you for all of the, uh, those of you that were brave enough to share your wrong answer because that's the best way to learn is to reflect on something that didn't go right. It helps them to understand that learning's not a perfect thing, but it eventually takes place. We get there. Try a lot of different things. She's a highly dedicated teacher. She goes home and she analyzes the data. She truly is a math geek. They pick up on how excited I get about the math things. And I think it's very funny, but I take the term math geek as a badge of honor. And I have a few students who have joined me in that this year. I love math. That's my best subject. I have honor roll. She can take multiple kids at multiple levels and help them to succeed. For her to take a little girl that struggled with math to the point where she's excelled, I commend her. I think all children learn, and they learn at their own pace and style, but they are all capable of it. Every Minute Matters to me is kind of a core, essential piece of it because 
the students deserve it. I would think shame on me if I didn't push them to the very highest level. So I do push and I do constantly ask for more out of them and they rise to meet the standards that I set. This is the average gain in this class, 279 point gain. Our expected gain was 124 points. Every Minute Matters does help because every second of their day is engaged, actively learning. When you get to see that light bulb, that's the rewarding part, absolutely.